is Father Ken, and welcome to this uh, uh, new, uh, new series that I'm uh, making right now called uh, Lockdown Boot Camp Series. So if it is your first time to join me, I would like you to watch the introductory video that I made called uh, Power of Perception, you know, where we talk about the importance of uh, having the right perspective with regards to this lockdown. Uh, and uh, I'm pretty excited about this boot camp series, series. That's why uh, you see I'm wearing this uh, Super Ken outfit and uh, because I need all the superpowers that I need uh, to do this boot camp series. And for those who have been uh, to a boot camp, you know that the, the few days or a few weeks that you're in a boot camp, it's not easy because you're unlearning some bad habits and you're learning some new habits. And they say it takes 21 days to 40 days to learn uh, a, a new habit. So I, I guarantee you that you know, it will be worthwhile. Um, if, if you do what I'm suggesting you to do, uh, I guarantee you that it will transform your life and you will grow in your relationship with God and also grow in your relationship uh, with others. So in this episode, we're gonna be talking about the power of a vision. Now, what is a vision? A vision is a picture of a future that creates passion, that you're gonna be passionate about. Uh, that, that, you know, there are nights when you couldn't sleep because you're always thinking about this vision. And we need to start with this because this will create the why in why you're doing things. Let's say you have a vision of uh, a dream cottage that you really want to have. And, uh, and that's why, that, that will create the why you're doing stuff. The, 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 that will create the why you're saving money. That will create the why, you know, you're meeting with an architect or a, a contractor to be able to build this, uh, this dream cottage that is yours so that it will come to a fruition. So maybe the question that I would like to ask you is, what is your vision for your life? Uh, you need to have a vision. Now, if you don't have one, I would like you to do this uh, exercise. You know, this is also from the book, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen Covey, where he talked about uh, the beginning with the end in mind. And he says there in that book that, uh, imagine going to a funeral. You know, you, you went inside the church and the church is packed and uh, full of decoration of flower and you see a coffin in front and you go there and you notice that it is your funeral, that it is you who's inside that coffin. And in that uh, uh, funeral uh, service, there will be four people who will stand up uh, and they will say something about you, okay? Uh, like a word of remembrance or a eulogy. So the four people are one, one of them is your family member. The second one is a friend. The third one is a coworker or a classmate. The fourth one is a church member. Now, what do you want them to say something about you? How do you want to be remembered by these people? So do this exercise, write it down, and by writing it down, this will create a vision of what you want to achieve in your life. Uh, you know, how do, how do you want to be remembered by these people? So I did this exercise uh, during Lent. In fact, like I even organized my funeral. I pick up the songs, I pick up the readings, I ask a brother priest to be the celebrant of my uh, funeral mass. I even asked Father Mark Goring, who's the pastor here at St. Mary's, to preach. And I told him, you could make fun of me, make, make, make fun out of me, uh, whatever you want. You know, I don't care. I'm already dead. You know, so I came up with a, a funeral mass program and there's, uh, there's uh, my birthday there and then my date of de death is to be determined. So I look at this uh, funeral mass program every day, every day to know that uh, this could be the day, you know? So I need to be prepared. And uh, so I did this exercise of four people standing up. What will they say? I, I wrote it down. Um, and then I even went to a funeral parlor to, to inquire about the cost. It's so expensive to die. And, uh, but uh, so I was like, asking for a good discount because I'm only a poor, lowly priest. And, uh, uh, but they say it's, you, you'll get a discount if you do a prearranged funeral, okay? So do this exercise, and this will create a vision so that you will be able to know why 
you, have to, you, you, you will do the things that you're going to do on a daily basis during this lockdown period. Okay? So if, uh, in the next episode, we will be talking about the how. Okay? So we start with why, then how, and then the last three episodes, we're going to talk about the what. Okay? So if you find this helpful to you, please subscribe so that um, you will be uh, informed of the, uh, when the next episode will be. And then share this with, with other people who would really uh, benefit from it. Share the, the introductory video so that they'll be able to watch it and then follow along. Be a living saint. Jesus, Mary, Joseph, we trust in you. Mm -hmm.